Have you ever wondered how water moves around our planet? It's a journey that's been going on for billions of years, and it's one that never ends. This journey is known as the water cycle, or the hydrological cycle. It's a complex yet beautifully orchestrated symphony of nature that involves the entire planet. Imagine a drop of water in the ocean. The sun gently warms the ocean's surface, causing our tiny drop to transform into vapor, rising high into the sky. This process is known as evaporation. As our water vapor ascends, it meets the cooler upper atmosphere, where it condenses into tiny droplets or ice crystals, forming clouds. This stage of the journey is called condensation. But the journey doesn't end there. When these tiny droplets in the clouds become too heavy to float, they descend back to Earth in the form of rain, snow, sleet, or hail, depending on the temperature. This is what we call precipitation. Now, picture the raindrop hitting the ground. It might flow over the surface, joining with other drops and forming streams and rivers. This downhill movement, driven by gravity, is known as runoff. Some of our raindrop friends will take a different path. They'll seep into the soil, replenishing groundwater reserves, or being absorbed by plant roots in a process called infiltration. Speaking of plants, they play a unique role in our water cycle story. They absorb water from the soil through their roots and release it into the atmosphere through their leaves in a process called transpiration. In colder regions, water can skip the liquid stage altogether. It can change directly from solid as ice or snow to vapor without melting first. This process is called sublimation. Finally, some water will percolate or move through soil and porous rock layers underground, eventually reaching aquifers or becoming groundwater. So what's the big deal about the water cycle? Well, it's crucial for maintaining the Earth's water balance, distributing fresh water to various ecosystems, and supporting life. It plays a significant role in weather patterns, climate regulation, and the cycling of nutrients throughout the environment. It also shapes our planet by influencing geological processes such as erosion and sedimentation. Therefore, the next time you take a sip of water, remember the incredible journey it has undertaken. It's a cycle, a dance of nature, that has been happening for billions of years, and one that will continue long into the future.